Cat, what are you doing to my legs? Seriously, like he's... He keeps clawing at nothing. Oh, he flipped around. Are you... Are you comfy? There's nothing down there! Well, at least nothing for you. Gracious sakes. Hello everyone, and welcome to Monday. More importantly, welcome to the new year. It is 2018! What are you doing? There's nothing there! My god! God, he's getting dangerously close to things he should not be scratching. It is 2018, and um, we decided to bring in the new year. Uh, well, technically last night by watching the ball drop, but uh, today, uh, my mom wanted to do something special. She wanted us all to go out and eat um, and, and get something nice, and, and things do close a little bit earlier um, on New Year's Day, so uh, we had to go a little bit early for dinner, but we went to Paula Deen's restaurant, because Paula Deen opened a restaurant in Myrtle Beach. She had, uh, there's a well-known one in Savannah that we've been to before, on the vlog, actually. I forget what it's called. Do you remember, Mal? It's like something in Sons? Mm, I haven't been. Oh, it's like M Mother and Sons? I don't know. I don't know. It's a buffet, though. This one was different. Uh, this one was, uh, it's, it's called family style dining. And the idea is that you go with a group of people, you order, you pay per person and you order as a table, three meats, really they're meats. And then main four, courses. yeah, three more main courses and then four side dishes. And then everyone gets their own dessert of their choosing. And then it's unlimited refills. They, they don't want to call it all you can eat. So it's just unlimited refills of anything. And uh, everyone shares, everyone at the table shares those uh, dishes. It's a pretty neat idea. Uh, the four of us went, and Lindsay, and uh, we ordered, God, what did we order? We had salad, we had mashed potatoas, sweet potatoes, we had sweet potatoes, we had um, mac, and cheese. mac and cheese, we had spare ribs, fried chicken, catfish, and I'm, I gotta be honest, um, it was it was actually really good. Uh, the food was really good quality. Um, it was it was it was delicious, and there was plenty of food. And the lady, the server, kept coming back and asking if we wanted, you know, a refill. You know, you guys want more ribs? You want more fried chicken? And we couldn't eat it all. Like that one serving that came, we ate that, and we were like, oh my god, I'm so stuffed. We still had a little bit of food left over, but it was delicious. It was really good, and uh, for dessert, we actually all got the same thing. They had a chocolate cake, although, let's be honest, that thing looks and was a brownie. Uh, it was a delicious brownie, it was a little a little too sweet, but, um, I mean, it, it was, that, that's a brownie. That's what I would call a brownie. But, uh, yeah, it was good, um, and that's down at Broadway at the Beach, if you, you know, decide to visit and you want to try that out. You really, you can't go by yourself, though. You know, I assume if you go by yourself, they just seat you with other people. And the the biggest problem with that place was deciding. It was so hard for the five of us to decide between what like what three things we were going to get. Because we're like, well, do we want catfish or do we not want catfish? Do we want beef roast? Or do we want ribs or do we want chicken pot pie? Do we want fried chicken? And if we get fried chicken, do we also want chicken pot pie? Because if we do that, that's two chicken dishes. Is that too much chicken? So there's a lot of discussion um, at the table. But once we got past it all, the food was actually very good and uh, I would say highly recommended. The only thing that was so weird about the restaurant, um, and I really don't get the strange, strange fascination um, that Southern people have with Paula Deen. And I say that as a Southern person, like I do not understand. But that store, um, it's a store because the, the top floor is the restaurant. And when you're done, you go down the escalator and you're in a store, kind of like a Cracker Barrel, but imagine it's Cracker Barrel, but Paula Deen's face is plastered on everything. Everything. Every and Slogans, oh my gosh. And, and the word y'all is put on everything. There's also a creepy amount of standees of Paula Deen. They're everywhere. It's like a strange old school security system where instead of putting up actual cameras, they just have Paula Deen grinning at you. So no matter where you turn, you feel like you're being watched by her presence. It was creepy. No lie. There was a soap dispenser that said, Soap Y'all. 
<laughs> Soap, y'all. Cookies, y'all. Butter, y'all. Everything was y'all. Y'all. So that was, uh, that was a bit much. Um, but it was, it, it was comical. Like, it was comical. And I, I'm sure that there are people in there that are, like, super... Oh, is that a picture of the thing? Woof, y'all. Yes, they had picture frames. Um, part of me wonders if there's people that buy those and, and leave the, uh... <laughs> the original image of Paula Deen and dogs in there, and it's just like, I really like Paula Deen. Yeah, I don't get it. I, I'm not, like, I don't hate Paula Deen, but I don't understand the ex extreme, um, you know, worship, worship <laughs> that she she gets. Um, but if you like Paula Deen, holy crap, that store would be for you. But the food is legitimately good. Just, if you're gonna go, take a group of people, and my advice would be to look online at the menu beforehand so you don't have a fight in the restaurant about what on earth you should be eating. Because it was difficult. It was really hard to choose. So yeah, that is how we started out 2018. And uh, I think it was a pretty fun way to start it. I really do. It was uh, It was also really cool to, um, to have everyone together, to have Lindsay there. Would have loved to have uh, Dan there. But uh, Dan has actually been gone for quite a while because he spent the holidays with uh, his family in Florida, and then they flew from Florida up to Maryland where their extended family is, and he's actually still there. Um, he may be coming home, I, th I think he flies back to Florida tomorrow, and he may actually be driving up tomorrow night, so we might see him tomorrow, I'm not entirely sure, but he'll be home soon. So yeah, 2018 has gotten started, and um, it got started with butter, y'all. Anyway, too um, much it was <laughs> too much. <laughs> it was just a surprising amount of butter related products, not products that featured butter, but products that had nothing to do with butter that just talked about butter. I'm not even making that up. They sold keychains that had little like blocks of butter on them and it said butter y'all on the side. They sold t-shirts that said butter y'all. They sold every kitchen utensil that you could think of. Said butter, y'all, across it. Butter, y'all. Anyway, because it is the first of the month, the first of the year, uh, we're going to say a quick shout out and special thank you to our patrons, uh, all of the Patreon producers that we have over at Patreon.com. Thank you so much. Uh, their names are scrolling along the bottom of the screen now, and I want to say an extra special thank you because we're getting started on this year, and uh, I've talked about it. You know, at length in some of the past videos in 2017, but 2017 was a roller coaster uh, for YouTube, and like it's it's so strange because every year is a roller coaster for YouTube, but they find some ways to make the roller coaster experience even more frightening. Uh, they throw in a few double helixes. They just have it. There's a section where it goes upside down for like 46 minutes, and you're like, how is the roller coaster this long? Also, I think the blood is running to my head and it's gonna kill me. And YouTube's like, don't worry, I'll be fine. Um, so, in light of all of that, uh, thank you so much for, for choosing to support us because uh, having having things that we feel that we can rely on uh, at a time when YouTube is so crazy uh, is very helpful and we appreciate it. And uh, fortunately, the limited or no ad situation has improved. I know I made a video about that not too long ago, um, but you know, it is still, <laughs> still YouTube. Give them a few weeks, they'll find a way to screw something up. Um, but now that 2018 is here, uh, it is time to start thinking about uh, how the year is going to go. And Mal and I have been actually talking about that, and you may see that behind me. In fact, if I, if I do some crazy voodoo magic and touch this, it may actually come into focus. And then if you're on a, like a 4K TV, you might be able to read it. If not, I'll zoom in so you can actually read that. Now that is the, um, that is the schedule that we normally keep or at least attempt to keep. And next to it is actually some uh, some goals for the year. And I can't actually read them because they're too far away, but they basically say, uh, what is it? <laughs> take time off. I don't actually know the goals. Take uh, time off. Take time off, which is something that we don't do. Anyone who watches may be familiar with the concept of work, 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 Nickelodeon, but we don't. We don't have a dedicated day off, and that's what that's about. My My, one of my biggest goals in 2018, one of my very personal goals, is to be able to have a day off. And it might take a little time to get to that point. Um, and certainly we're, we're always in a position where if we need to drop everything and take time off, we can. 
but we don't and have never, in the years that we've been doing this, have had a dedicated day off. And how cool would it be if, like, Saturdays you just had off? And some of you are saying, well, you know, I have a normal job and that's the way it is. Yeah, that sounds cool. That sounds really neat. So that's something I'd like to work towards. Now, what's the next thing? Um, keep things cleaner. Keep things cleaner around the house. Because there are times where, I mean, I feel like we actually do a fairly good job of keeping things clean, but um, a lot of times it's not a regular cleaning. It's that, oh man, I can't see the kitchen counters, we should fix this, and then we fix it. And I really, I don't like that, especially because up until the point you do it, there's this subconscious feeling that is growing inside of you that creates anxiety and levels of depression and sadness. And if we would just regularly clean the house, it would probably help keep those to a minimum. Now, once you clean the house, you feel better. You really do. Um, having a, I mean, it doesn't work that way for everyone, but for me personally, having a, a cleaner work environment, having things put away and organized, um, it, I think it makes me more productive. So that's something I want to work on for, for 2018. Mal, next. Ketchup on blocks. Oh, ket... I heard the first thing as ketchup. Yes, pour ketchup on the vlogs. Pour ketchup on the vlogs. Um, <laughs> yeah, uh, my single biggest goal for 2018 is to catch up on the vlogs. And I know, I totally understand that that is a joke and a punchline at this point because vlogs have been behind for quite some time. Um, but it does truly affect me and it's something I think about all the time, even if I don't talk about it. And 2018, for me personally, is a do or die sort of situation. And uh, the, the biggest problem is when you're behind this far, uh, people don't actually realize the progress you make. Because we were, um, you know, multiple months behind and in, in the span of like a week or so, I did an entire month's worth of vlogs. And after I had caught up, there were comments that were like, wow, he's really far behind. And I'm like, you don't realize how far I came in like a week. So going to keep chipping away at that and doing my best, but that's, it has affected me in, in hugely negative ways um, to be this far behind for this long. There's an element of, I don't care, I'm just going to continue to produce the best stuff I can, but the other side of that is I desperately need to, to get it caught up. There's a million factors that go into it. When we're all caught up, I might talk a little bit more about it, but just know that it is on my mind and it never, ever leaves. Mal, what's the next thing? Um, stream stream. Uh, that's been something we've been trying to do. We've been trying to like, we, and we have seriously looked into doing Twitch streaming since uh, like August 2016. It's been in the planning uh, for a long time and it's something we've really wanted to do and uh, this is the year that we really want to make it happen. That is a goal and I'm putting it out there publicly uh, and hopefully it doesn't blow up in my face when on January 1st, 2019 we're like, ah, oh, we didn't really do that. Um, but that is a goal. That is something we're trying to do. We would like to do, uh, at least starting out, just one day a week where people knew that they could catch us live. If it was Friday night for a few hours or something where people could come hang out and know that that's happening, um, I would really like for that to happen. So that is the big thing. And what's the last thing? It says keeping awesome, but I think Dan wrote that. Dan wrote that. Um, and uh, even though he wrote that, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to live by that as well. Uh, what we're doing has fulfilled us. The things that we are creating make us happy. And it's clear that they make you happy as well, but we're going to continue to do awesome things and create awesome content and really pour our hearts and souls into everything we do with the caveat of trying to take a day off. But we're going to continue to try and make that happen all throughout 2018, just like we did last year. So yeah, that is... Uh, that's our 2018 goals, and uh, I don't like to call them resolutions. I really don't even like to call them goals. Um, it's not something like, you know, we're going to do this, or we're going to... It's just things that we've talked about, things that we've considered, uh, things that we want to make happen. And there's a bunch of other things that we want to try and do. We want to make sure that we, um, you know, try to eat right this year and things like that. But it's... I'm not going to put it down on the list. I'm not going to do this or the other. The only things I'm really concerned with this year are continuing to create awesome stuff and um, try to get vlogs cut up and then also slow it down just a little bit. You know, um, we worked extremely hard last year and uh, we did a lot of awesome stuff and I'm very proud of us for everything that we accomplished, but 
you know, having having moments to, to step back and um, relax, like having a day off, like, holy crap, that'd be great. And uh, and then, of course, streaming. I like, I like how I'm like, we really want to scale it back and take a day off. And then immediately I'm like, and we want to add this new thing. Um, we'll, we'll balance it all out. We will. Uh, the biggest thing that we did in 2017 to help ourselves was that schedule. And uh, I'm very happy to report that for the most part, we have stuck to that ever since we um, started doing it in September of last year. So for the last few months, we've done a really good job of going to bed early, waking up uh, early, uh, sticking to a, a pretty good schedule about what, what to do and when. Uh, it has gotten a little wonky in the last few weeks because when we got back from New York, we were sick and the sickness and the schedule did not mix very well. And then that with the holidays, having to stay up late for Christmas, New Year's, etc. But, um, you know, we'll, we'll get back on it a little more strict now that we are feeling better from our sickness and now that the holidays are over. So um, it's going to be a good 2018. I really, truly feel that, that way. And uh, the other thing is hopefully I won't get any more organs out. I mean, at the very least, I can't take any more appendixes because I only had one to get rid of. That's it for today. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, be sure to talk today about what your 2018 goals or resolutions are. I'm sure you guys are getting this later, but it doesn't mean that your 2018 goals are gone. Uh, however, because you are getting this later, you can already say how you're doing, which I think is fun. You can say what your goal was, and now that we're a little further into the year, have you been able to stick to it? And uh, if you have, what kind of change that's making in your life? I think it's important as we move into 2018 that all of us think more about... Um, taking care of ourselves. That's something that me and Mal struggle with occasionally, me especially, and uh, I want to make sure that we do better in 2018. Thank you so much for watching, and as always, let's meet back tomorrow, shall we?